in the last lecture we have ended the lecture by just introducing what are the disadvantages of cloud computing so we will see in detail what are the disadvantages internet connectivity as we say that cloud computing means internet or network is must so if there is no internet connectivity you won't be able to go ahead with accessing your services second is vendor lock in when i say vendor lock in what it means cloud belongs to the specific vendor for example google microsoft so google is providing the google cloud microsoft is providing azure salesforce is there so different types of cloud belongs to the vendor vendor will give you the specific purchase option you are going to opt for that pack and that's why it is called as vendor lock in all the access rights belongs to vendor depending on which package you are trying to choose third one is limited control when we say limited control once again it means the same that depending on the package which you are opting your access will be decided and the last but not least that is hacker's threat everything is there on the cloud so there is an access possibility and hacker threat is the you can say most threat which anyone can nowadays see and it can be one of the cyber security issues now this diagram is exactly what is going on in your mount, mind that is you are hearing about lots of keywords like as pass saas we will see some of these keywords what is saas it is software as a service what is pass it's nothing but platform as a service as that is infrastructure as a service all different words keywords which you are able to see like security virtualization scalability elasticity internet no capital investment cloud boosting green computing billing utility computing virtual data centers and virtualization it outsourcing all these concepts together form the terminology of cloud computing and in this whole course you will learn all these terms and the main three terms which you will be more of sort use are as pass and saas those are nothing but software as a service for example when we are using gmail when we are using google drive then it's saas that is nothing but software as a service and similarly you will be able to see pass and as is there when we say a full stack is there available to us it include software as well as hardware when we say saas it is generally focusing on the software services which are allowed to you and you are simply utilizing them as a developer you are not going to make any change in them but if i want to design my own software or application by making use of someone others platform then i will go for pass then next one is as as is nothing but whole infrastructure you are going to decide that which type of hardware you are going to make use of what will be your platform everything you are going to choose so it is the depth level service which will be used by uh, microsoft or google and any layman is going to make use of saas here next diagram represent that how cloud marketplace is there globally available on the right hand side you are able to see some of the services which anyone can deliver to you and on the left hand side you are able to see the clients or the someone who is requesting some kind of services so we'll see one by one first what are the services which can be provided if suppose uh, one of the owner is there and he is having lots of infrastructure and he want to send it on rent then he can do so in google marketplace second if infrastructure is readily available and he want to sell it not rent it sell it then he can do so next you are able to see that i have the infrastructure as a owner but also i want to uh, rent my middleware if you see the diagram carefully you are able to see that along with some cpu logos gear pen database everything is sh uh, shown in this diagram it represent the middleware and he is asking can i work like a host yes you can work like a host in global google or any other cloud marketplace then fourth one you are able to see now all the services are getting uh, add up here 
I have an infrastructure and I want to provide the application services. So you are able to see like calendar, some reels are there of audio, video images. So you want to design your own application service. Can you do so? Yes, you can do so. So on the right hand side, we have seen that there are lots of service providers. And on the left hand side, the clients are the one who are requesting something. So what do you want? I just want the first diagram representing that I need to grow my infrastructure. But for how long? I don't know. Can I get so? Yes. In cloud marketplace, you can send a corresponding request. I don't know. So they will provide you a trial version on one month basis, six month basis, and you will utilize and then you can decide for how long you want to go ahead. Next, I cannot invest in the infrastructure. I just want to start my business. Can I do so? Yes, you can do so. Next, I want to focus on the application logic, not maintenance. I don't want to go into the maintenance of the server, middleware. Can I do so? Yes, you can go ahead in the Google marketplace. You can opt for the platform and infrastructure, which is readily available and just build your uh, software. That's it. Then last one, I want to access and edit my documents and photos from everywhere. So this is a layman any student any person who is having his or her own gmail id he is able to access all the google services so it's representing that part so we have seen that service provider and the one who is opting for all those services this is a general scenario of a global cloud marketplace so uh, here we are able to see that it's a full stack full stack represent that uh, you are going to cons uh, cons take into consideration the underlying hardware along with that some high level software you are going to build and then you are going to deploy your own service there are basically three cloud deployment models public cloud which is also called as internet cloud Second one is private cloud, which is also called as enterprise cloud. And the third one that is hybrid cloud, which is also called as inter cloud. Now, public cloud, imagine Google, it is readily available. So it is third party, multi tenant cloud infrastructure services are getting provided and it is subscription plan monthly or you can say quarterly or yearly. You are going to subscribe for that plan. Second is private or enterprise cloud. Many of the companies opt for these kind of private clouds because they want to design their own software and they want to keep the they want to keep their license copy with them. So for that, they are going to own their infrastructure and it will come under the private cloud. So third party access is not provided. And the last one that is hybrid cloud mixed type of cloud public and private both are both uh, you can say advantages you are going to get in this hybrid cloud so these are the references of all the diagrams if you want to learn more on it then you can refer to all these books thank you